It's important to realize that cardiac transplantation is the only proven and recognized therapy for end-stage congestive heart failure. Many patients with an uncomplicated course can be expected to survive as long as 10 years. In fact, statistics show that the expected survivorship after cardiac transplantation at 10 years is approximately 60%. Once a potential heart transplant recipient gets a call from their transplant coordinator, they should come to UPMC as quickly and safely as possible. They will then be greeted at admissions, be taken to an appropriate floor where they will be admitted and blood tests and chest x-rays and other tests will be done to make sure they are ready for the cardiac transplant. Once we have determined that a heart is potentially good for transplantation, we send out a donor team, a surgeon and his assistants to evaluate the heart. Once they're at the center that is donating the heart, we examine the heart carefully, look at the electrocardiogram, blood tests, echocardiogram, and actually the heart itself to determine whether it's suitable for the recipient for transplantation. Once we determine it is, then that heart is removed from the donor, packaged for transport, and then brought to UPMC. Once the team has determined that the heart is good for a given recipient, then that recipient is taken to the operating room where a team of anesthesiologists and nurses and assistants will put the patient asleep, and then we will begin the surgery. Uh, this involves about two to three hours of preparation surgery to get the recipient ready for the transplant itself. Once the heart arrives, the old heart is removed and potentially a left ventricular assist device if the patient has one, and then the new donor heart is sewn into the recipient. The cardiothoracic intensive care unit will be where the recipient lives for the next 48 to 72 hours while they recover from the acute effects of surgery. After that, they are transferred up to our monitoring floor where the rest of the post-operative recovery will occur. Once the patient is discharged home, they will have regular clinic visits in the outpatient cardiology transplant clinic once a week for the first four weeks. And at the same time that we evaluate them, a heart biopsy, a small piece of tissue, will be examined to rule out rejection. These biopsies are repeated approximately once a week for the first four weeks, and then once a month for the first six months. Cardiac transplantation has been a critical focus of therapy for end-stage heart disease at UPMC since 1983. As such, we are looked upon as innovators. We are looked upon as people that bring science to reality in the treatment of heart failure, especially through cardiac transplantation. And for that reason, we see many patients that have been rejected for this therapy in other centers because of the novel and innovative approaches that we take here at UPMC. Mm -hmm.